that drawback on that cue ball? Just knocking back a game of billiards up here, whooped on Jennifer, beat her ass in a game of pool. You know what I'm talking about. While we were playing, I was like, man, I had a good idea for a video. Let's do some uh, samurai drive shaft talk today. So let me go grab that shaft. I'll be right back and we'll, we'll teach you a little something about them drive shafts. All right, guys, let me give you the lowdown on the shaft. So we're talking about phasing a drive shaft. It's kind of an odd term that if you're a beginner and you hear someone say, hey, is your drive shaft phased? You're just like, what the hell is this guy talking about? I don't know what that means, you know? And basically what they're saying is, is your drive shaft properly aligned and balanced correctly? So a lot of times people will ask a question in one of the forum groups and say, I'm getting a vibration in the back end and someone will say, well, is it a U-joint? Is your drive shaft phased? And right there, they're like, hey man, I don't know what you're talking about, man, okay? So today we're just gonna cover it. It's real simple. It's super simple. So all that means is your drive shaft is lined up. When the shaft is originally made, they got it spinning in a lathe and they're balancing, checking for vibrations. They put on a weight to counterbalance just like a wheel on a car balancing your wheels so it spins and it's even it's the same premise so when it's spinning fast it's balanced smooth no vibrations so anytime you take the drive shaft this is the slip yoke of a drive shaft this slips off this is the main drive shaft these two ends are called flanges inside here are u joints so anytime you replace the u joints or you're pulling off the slip yoke or you take the drive shaft out and it falls apart, who knows what, and you don't know where it goes back together. A lot of people just take this off and they just slam it on there, bolt it up, and they take off. And it's not the way you want to do it. So the Samurai originally has two dots on the shaft end, on the splines that I'll show you here, and one on the slip yoke. So it's as simple as lining up those two dots and you'll know exactly where you are. Dead nuts, money on the ball, you're just ready to rock and roll. But if your drive shaft's really rusty or somebody painted it very heavily, those dots on the slip yoke could be covered up. So we'll show you how to eyeball it up from, from just bone stock with no dots. But let's get into the dot part of this section here. So we'll get Jennifer to zoom on in. Now here's the slip yoke. You can see this dot here. You can see that. Pretty good in the camera, I'm hoping. Okay, so you got that part. That's the dot on your slip yoke. You wanna take a rag, get all that greasy, nasty stuff off the tip of your splines. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so now you got a dot right there. This one can be tough to see. You got her, boom, that's the dot. So you're gonna take this dot, line it up with that dot, Whoop, fold her over and you're gonna slide her on in. Now from that position, these two ears are perfectly flat. So I'm gonna break out my levels, I'll show you. This one's level, this one's level. So if you put it in and it's a spline off, one level's gonna be tilted up, this one's gonna be tilted, it's gonna be cockeyed, you're gonna see it right off the bat. So if for whatever reason you don't have the dots, you're gonna line up your ears. You could possibly do a complete 180 and have it like this. So you basically have a 50-50 shot without the dots. So you'd still, be, you'd still be leveled like this, but if you notice any vibrations like that, then you wanna take it back apart and flip it around, flip it around the 180 and try it again for less vibrations because you only have two options. These ears have to be lined up. You're not lining up this ear of the flange. This is a flange. This is the actual drive shaft slip yoke. So these are the two ears. So, so you don't want it. This would be incorrect. Even though these are still level, it's incorrect because this is the flange part and this is the actual shaft. So make sure you got the ear of the actual slip yoke and the actual drive shaft lined up. Ideally, you just search for those dots, hammer her in, and you're good to go. So anytime you wanna take apart your drive shaft or you buy drive shafts from some random dude in the alleyway, and he's just like, hey man, you got drive shafts? And you're like, yeah, I got like 50 bucks, man, let me get those shafts. So 
You're doing a wheeling and dealing. You're scoring shafts on the side. You, you got to phase them right, man. You know what I'm saying? So anytime you hear that word, it might intimidate a younger, younger novice Suzuki guy. Any guy, actually, that has a drive shaft like this. Um, it might throw you for a, a loop. Like, what the hell does that mean? But that's all they mean when they're saying in phase. So that's the first thing you want to check. Anytime you take the drive shaft apart, get her lined up, bolt her up. Make sure your U-joints are tight. If you can twist this while you're holding this and there's any sort of play in there whatsoever, that's a bad U-joint. You want to replace that right away because these drive shafts are worth a lot of money, these rear ones, because people put on big tires, big lift. This thing's at an extreme angle spinning. This, this U-joint will blow out and this ear will spin around and bust up the ear. Now your drive shaft's jacked up. You're calling Highway 83 saying you got the rears from the 86 Sammies. And I'm like, I got some. They're going to cost you a little something. You know what I'm talking about, man? It's going to cost you a little loot. So replace your U-joints so you don't have to spend the loot. We don't want to have to charge you. We, we just want you to you know, do the maintenance. That's what these videos are all about. So place your U-joints, phase your drive shafts, watch our videos, drink Miller High Life, subscribe, tell your buddies. Do all that great stuff. We love you guys. It's time to get back to shooting billiards, drinking a little beer. Ah, yeah. Nice easy eye ah, yeah for you. Let's wind this night down, guys. We'll talk to you next time.